Hello, crafty friends. This is Rhonda from Rhonda's Close to My Heart. My website is paperdivas.closetomyheart.com if you're interested in doing any shopping. Today, I am back after a two-week dry spell from YouTube. I don't know what happened. I just, things get caught up. <clears throat> I, last thing I did was worked on this Gnome for Winter scrapbook page, and I promised that I would come back and show you the finished project, and I haven't. So here I am today. Uh, we're also going to take a look at the Skylark collection and some layouts that I have done. They have, don't have pictures on them, but I wanted to show those to you in a fun little uh, twist from long ago. So here is the, <clears throat> excuse me, Gnome for Winter double page layout I did. Over here, we have a cute little flip flap. This is my son, who is now 32, playing in the snow at our home. I think he's one year old. This is, he was born in November, so this had to be like December, January, something like that. Just him playing out in the snow, but I just love all of the Gnome for Winter products. They're so pretty. They're just so soft and, you know, just wintry. Really pretty. I love the sticker. This is off the sticker sheet. And then page two just has me pulling them around in the snow. This is the winter of 1992-1993. And I made the little sled on my Cricut machine. It's off of one of the close to my heart uh, digital images, image sets. I'm really sh not sure which one. Uh, these uh, snowflakes are from the special we had last year at this time, you know, like November, December, something like that. Now, my dilemma when I was putting this together, if you remember, was whether or not to put red on it. And I think just adding the few red embellishments that it just made it perfect. I really, really love this collection. Um, there's a lot of products in this collection. If you like doing winter layouts, it's the perfect collection. There's also um, some backsides that um, could be very non-winter, like this striped one right here. And then there's a... Uh, I don't want to grab the whole paper pack out right now, but um, there's another one. I think it's got dots on it, polka dots or something, but it's really cute as well. I love the striped. It, this would be really good for even just hiking and just really super nice. But anyway, that's my layout. This was done. Um, I used one of the layouts in the Make It From Your Heart Volume 6 to do this. Now I'm going to show you our Bring Back My Pack, which is Skylark. Now, the funny thing about this is, is I bought the original way back when, when it came. And I'm going to actually show you a layout today that I did with that collection. It's so cute. Let's take a peek real quick at the products that come in the bundle. This is the product bundle. And you get this beautiful stamp set. I still have my original stamp set. I Yeah, I loved it that much. I'm kind of a freak about dragonflies, and I really, really like that dragonfly. And then there's some nice um, sentiments that you can use on a layout, or this could be nice for, you know, a card, a nice card, sentimental card. And then live in the moment, of course, that's kind of more lends you to scrapbooking, but it could be for an inspirational card, you know, like for a kid, live in the moment so that they don't get too caught up in life when they're trying to be a kid still. Some really pretty, just um, scrolly things. And then you are my favorite memory and you and me banner and cute little heart. So that's the stamp set. Paper pack is just beautiful. Now, in the old collection, we didn't have sticker sheets. We had chipboard sheets. 
And I'm going to show you a few of those on the scrapbook layouts because uh, just between me and you, I didn't use this new collection when we had our product launch. I used all of my old stock. As you can see, I didn't touch this. But really pretty. This is a nice border down here. And just some really nice titles and, and icons, birds, and it just lends to a nice... Um, Oh, I don't know, outdoorsy type paper, but it doesn't have to be. And I'm going to show you what I did with it so you can see that it does not have to be outdoorsy. The colors are Jade, which is a new green we have. Lagoon, Limeade, which is a new color. Shortbread, Toffee, and White Daisy. Now, isn't this just the most beautiful piece of paper? I just love this. And one of the reasons I love this piece of paper so much is because if you're a card maker or if you even just want to uh, do some embellishing on a layout, there's so many little pieces you could cut out. I can see a card here. I can see a card here. I can see a card here. I mean, just so many little things that you can cut out. It's just so pretty with the faint flowers. And then this is the back side. What's that called? A quadrifold or something? I can't think of it. But that's the lime green color. And then there's this piece here, which again has a really nice little spot to cut out here. Now I'm on my little side table today because my desk is completely covered in card products I've been cutting out for some friends coming over tomorrow to make cards and I was prepping and my whole desk is just covered with stuff. I really love this for a scrapbook layout and I love this piece of paper actually. I love the, I don't know, it's just really a nice piece of paper. And then actually all the papers in this collection are really super nice. This is another one that could just be used for you know, a partial piece for a card or a layout. You don't have to use the whole thing. But I'm going to show you in my layout how I use this as my base paper. And it is really nice. And then the other side is this beautiful lagoon stripe. And it's very um, distressed looking. I don't know if that you can catch that on the, on the video, but it's very distressed. As well as this piece here, which is the flip side of that. And it's got a lot of distressing done down here and kind of like that lime green up here too. Just really beautiful paper there. So, I don't know. I'm thinking that this piece right here might be my favorite just because it's so versatile. I'm going to close my window a little bit. Or my shade, maybe not get quite such a shadow there. It's a beautiful sunny day here in Michigan. I just went outside and washed the outside of my basement windows. But when I came back in, they are so smudged because I used paper towel. And you just can't use paper towel on windows. I usually use a cloth that I got from, what's that company called? Nor Norwex or something like that. So there's the new updated Skylark papers. Now one thing really cool in this collection is we have a stencil, which is actually basically the background of this paper here. It's a 12 by 12 stencil. Here, let's put it on this piece of Skylark. Maybe you can see it there. Flowers and leaves. So you can just use parts or you could cover a whole page or just use bits and pieces for cards. Stenciling, oh, I just love it. It is so much fun so many possibilities but don't you just love that 12 by 12 stencil and here are the coordinating colors i'll just show you these real quick lagoon toffee shortbread and lime and then seems like there was another oh jade is used faintly this i think the only jade you see is maybe in some of the stenciling. There's really not a whole lot of jade. Right here you see a little bit of jade. 
but there's not a, a lot of jade in this, but isn't that just the most beautiful collection? I just love it. Okay, now I'm going to sit, I can sit down now. This is the, the um, workshop that you get. This is a Skylark workshop kit. And this, uh, this whole thing was made by a fellow maker, Katie Taylor. She did a beautiful job on this. Her instructions are so easy to follow. You get the full cutting guide. It, it is just laid out so nicely. What to cut your zip strips at, some stamping you need to do, and then pictures of the layouts, and then full assembly tips. So I won't go through the whole thing, but that's for three double page layouts, and you make four cards. And the instructions for all of that is right in this workshop. And here are the cards that, that you make in that. Now, here's where you're gonna see where I did not use my, I'm gonna bring this down a little now. I don't need a 12 by 12 right now, there we go. I did not use the stickers on this. Now, I made the card just as it was, basically, but this is a chipboard piece that came in the, in the kit long ago. Oh no, I'm gonna take that back. When we had this before, Close to my heart was selling PML cards and I just dropped all my chipboard pieces on the floor. And so you got all of these cards, four by, um, four by six and three by four. And we got like four of each design. So look at how many I still have left. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And then I still have a few of the chipboard pieces. I have three left. That's it. Out of that, there was a, it was a, oh, probably like a four by six piece of paper with chipboard and they punched out. Now this I cut out of one of those PML cards. And then these right here are the little um, die cut shapes we have. And this is the wood grain and we just put some of the pattern paper on the back of that. And here is a sample of the stenciling. Isn't it beautiful? It's just, I haven't done the insides of these cards yet. Isn't that pretty? I just love it. Do you like slimline cards? Let me know in the comment how you feel about slimline cards. I really like them. Um, one of the reasons I like them is because there's so much room to design. Now here's one, using a piece of that beautiful paper, just make sure that you cut in the right spot in the workshop. And then here's some more of those wood grain shapes. And then this is one of the chipboard pieces. They had a sticker there. I'm gonna take a guess that it's this sticker right here. And instead, I use the chipboard piece, and I really like it. The bird I cut out of the of the paper or the PML card, one of the two, and then just put some lagoon dots in the center of the flowers. This I cut out of the PML card. So cute, so cute. Okay, and then we made this one here. This again, this is a chipboard piece, and this is cut out of the PML cards. Friends Forever, I thought that was really cute with the three birds there. Friends Forever, and then some more lagoon shapes, which you also get the lagoon shapes in your, uh, in your workshop kit. And here's another sample of the stenciling. Doesn't that look so pretty, tone-on-tone -tone stenciling on the grid paper? I really, really like that one a lot. And the last card we made is this one here. 
We did a little bit of stenciling. This is a very simple card. It's not layered or anything. Um, probably if I was starting from scratch, I would have had an extra layer on here somehow. But did some stenciling and then a zip strip. And then these three things were cut out of either PML cards, I think this one was, and these three were cut out of the paper, I think. So that is Lagoon. This is the new Lagoon. Now I'm going to show you the old Lagoon. Oh, just a little bit of it. I'm not going to spend all day doing this. Oh. God, I was going to show you the layouts that we made. So I got to put my camera up again. Up, up, up. So you can see these a little better. Probably won't be able to see them in one setting. Sorry about that. There we go. The layouts are really nice. And we did a lot of flip flaps. Oh, let's see. Does it go this way or does it go this way is the store. I think it goes this way. So just lots of stenciling and just some ink um, blending here for your journaling. And then this one has a flip flap right here. I looked through all the picture, pictures I had printed and I just didn't have anything for these papers. So I'm going to have to go through my pictures and look for some something to print. Another flip flap there. So you got room for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight photos on this double page layout. This one here, I do not think that goes with that. Maybe it does. Yeah, it goes this way. Okay, this one here. Using that grid paper in the background there. I really like that. And then we have a flip flap here. Cute little camera. It's another little camera from the, the uh, wood grain shapes. Isn't that cute? I really like the way that turned out. A little picture there and I just love this as a background it's just so pretty and then here's the other side no flip flaps over here oh yep yep there it is we did lots of flip flaps have you tried flip flaps here's another one that we decorated and I think that looks really pretty I really like the flip flaps and my preferred way is to do it this way where you put the flip flap on the layout and then you cut a slip and slip it through your page protector. I like that method the best. That's my favorite way to do it. And then the last layout, I'm gonna have fun putting all this stuff back because I'll never, I don't know how it goes. This is really a pretty layout. Let me see, how does it go though? I think it goes this way. So, I followed this one mostly the way she did it. I think I changed up a few things. Um, this is chipboard instead of sticker sheet. These down here, I cut that out. And then these are chipboard and this is chipboard. This is stamped. I just noticed I put that one upside down. Photo placeholder. And I really like this one. This one's kind of more, I, I probably won't put any pictures on here other than this right here, which I think is what it's meant to be. But look at some nice stamping here and here. And this is chipboard also. Chipboard. This is cut out and this is cut out. Of those PML cards. So I just went through all the old supplies and figured out what I could do where to use up the old stock and I was very successful. I did not use one drop of the new stock. This was laying on here so I'm thinking this goes somewhere but I don't know where. I'll have to look at the instructions. And lots of ink uh, stenciling on this page and I just love it. It's so pretty. It's just soft and 
I just love it. Aren't these colors just fabulous? I think they're fabulous. Okay, now, funny story. Well, that's not really that funny, but this is the old. Let's come back down here. This is the old Skylark Workshop on the go, it was called back then. And this is from like 10 years ago. And so basically the same type of thing. But all you did was just one layout. Nope, there's two layouts. There was an additional artwork layout you could do if you wanted to. Now what I did on this, this is my layout. I didn't take this out of the album. I had to go down to the basement to find this album. I couldn't find this picture. This is my granddaughter my grand, and my grandson and their mom and dad. And these were their family pictures, you know, your 8 by 10s And this was a 5 by 7 of course, and this was an 8 by 10 So I think this was a 4 by 6 and this was a 5 by 7 And then this was an 8 by 10 with this one, this one, this one, and this one. And I just cut them apart and put them in here. Isn't that cute? This is a zip a zip tie that we had. And my journaling says, I love the family pictures that we got each, each year for Christmas. These ones are from the year blank. I asked her what the year was and she never told me. In the old papers, we had these little, um, oh, that moldy stuff. It's kind of like they're molded shapes. And there were birds and flowers. I'll show you some others. I have a card. But I think that was the only layout I did. And I have so much of that stuff left over. I had the bulk papers. So I had like 24 sheets that came in my original kit. And so I don't know if I'll ever use up this paper. I, got, I better get busy doing something. Maybe I'll try to design a, a workshop. Now I want to show you, this is the funny thing. These are some cards I made originally with this paper pack 10 years ago. I just kind of chuckle when I see it because it's just different. I mean, it's, it's kind of a common card, fancy fold card. But here's some more of those molded pieces, those flowers. I absolutely loved those flowers. So I don't know what this card shape is called. Oh, it's called a double gatefold. I have a piece of instructions in here with it. A double gatefold. And then this one was so old, and of course we've all learned what adhesives work and what don't, but obviously on this one, they didn't work and I need to put it back together. And craft paper doesn't uh, glue doesn't adhere to craft paper that well, or tape runner is probably what I used. But I thought this was a cute card. And I don't know what it's called, a step-up card or something. So this goes in the front here. Why don't we just put it back together while we're here. So you can see my tape, it's all yellow. So yeah, I think it's been 14 days since I've been here, or 13 or something like that, and... I was kind of kind of uh, discouraged by that, and I thought, I have got to do something. And so I thought, what's better to do than show you some new products? Now, if you haven't seen the Skylark collection yet, you can go on paperdivas.closetomyheart.com and just click the promotion button on top. And you'll see Skylark. It's Skylark, bring back my pack. There, that card's put back together. I kind of like that card. That's pretty cute. So anyway, um, there's only one thing left I wanted to show you today. And that was, I was playing with the December stamp of the month yesterday. And I made up a couple of cards now, originally, I bought this stamp of the month, and I did not get the thin cuts. I thought, oh, those are so easy to cut around. I don't need them. Yes, you need the thin cuts, because 
you can't do like a cutout, a shaker or anything unless you have the thin cuts. So this is the Gnome for Winter paper in one of the snow globes. This is the stamp set if you haven't seen it yet. And each one of the snow globes have a thin cut. And then these little um, snowflakes are from the acrylic shapes. These are from the Gnome for Winter. Get a pile of those. And then this I cut out of the front and you open it up and it just has your snow globe inside. And I put some stickles on the snow parts. And this is on the stamp set too, on the stamp of the month. And then this is from an old set. I didn't want it to be Christmassy. I wanted it to be a winter greeting. So I put some stickles on the snowflakes too. Then I thought, I have to make a shaker. Sorry if that was noisy. So I have two layers of foam tape on here. One is a solid piece of uh, foam tape that has adhesive on both pieces. It's four by five and a quarter. And so I cut it down. And then I figured it wasn't deep enough for my shaker. So I put another whole layer of foam tape, if you can see that, underneath it. And I think that turned out really cute. I used some snowflake sequins that we had. I don't know if we still have them or not. They might still be on the website, but they're really pretty. I'll look if they're still on there. I'll link them. And then these are the clear gems, and I think we might still have those in stock. They're not on, you know, in the books or anything like that, but if you go into online only or type in embellishments, they'll come up, whatever ones we had left. We had a few different colors. Then I just put a sapphire piece of glitter paper here and backed my little greeting, which is also from that uh, old stamp set, the same one that I used before. And I haven't done the front, the inside of this yet. So isn't that cute? I colored my door blue and then it just picks it up with the uh, glitter paper there. And I really, really like that a lot. I think it turned out cute. So my girlfriends and I will be making these tomorrow. I already have everything cut out for it. So, okay, well, um, thank you so much for watching my video today. Again, I am sorry it's been so long. I will try to get better in the new year, but I'm in kind of cookie baking mode right now. I made a batch of sugar cookies this morning, just the batter, and it's in the refrigerator. I don't know if I'll cook them today or not. Um, but mom, my mom, who is 92, and my grandson, who is 5, will be coming over Saturday. And the three of us make Christmas cookies every year. It's a tradition. And I absolutely love it. It's so much fun. And such great memories for my little Charlie with his great-grandmother. So you, you uh, have a wonderful weekend. And I hope it's nice and sunny where you are, too. Let me know if you like the slimline cards and if you're a flip-flap user. I'd really like to know. We will talk again soon. Thank you for watching.